affordable housing, it's just out of reach for so many people in our communities. Having a warm, dry roof over their heads or even access to hygiene, it's simply not available. It's a growing crisis and it's affecting thousands of individuals, including entire families. Well, we began to ask, what can we as communities of faith do to truly love our neighbors? My name is Bernice Moorhead and this is where I lived for about seven years. We call it the jungle. Almost a year ago in May, we moved from Springfield into this huge house. It's such a blessing. Somebody in the community put their faith, their trust in me. We just need one chance. Somebody to open up their heart to let us get one little chance. I'm Corey, this is my wife Brooke, and this was our first home when we first got together. This is where we showered sometimes, out here in the river. We put ourselves in a motel room where we paid basically $1,200 a month. The church can help a lot by helping these people be connected, reaching out to them and helping them develop relationships. Hello, my name is Gary, this is my wife Pamela. And for this tree right here, uh, it's got some stories it can tell you. This side of the fence, it was bad stories about being drunk all the time and being pissed, broke, and not a blanket and being cold and hungry and laying down here on the ground. I praise God every day for what he's done for me. He's given me a beautiful life and a beautiful wife and a beautiful house on the other side of the fence. <laughs> this is our back porch to our new tiny home. Having affordable housing means that we can actually live a real life. I won't be homeless. I will be able to come home instead of going to a sleeping bag under a tree. Now my brand new home is on this side of the fence. In the shadow and of that only, tree. Only God can put us in the situation that we're in. I think what churches uniquely have to offer is they're a source of community that isn't necessarily uh, available to people. We find a place for someone to be, maybe it is a landlord that allows someone to be in their apartment, house, or some other housing. Maybe it's in the form of a parking lot if they would uh, allow car camping or you could park an RV. Hope that we can all uh, find those ways to be better and I appreciate the churches for taking this on and stepping up and doing what I know that the Lord has always wanted churches to do, and that is to help each other. As we became involved with people transitioning from homelessness into affordable housing, we learned stories, we became friends, and our church became a true family of faith that represented the community in which we live. We've become warmer, more loving, and vibrant. We're so excited about what God's people can accomplish when they rise up together to meet the needs for affordable housing in our community.